The Irving Arts Center hosts Irving Black Arts Council's annual Black History Month exhibition with the theme, Artistic Expressions from Within. The exhibit features the work of seven talented local women. Some artists focus on American history and culture. This piece today tells a story about um, African Americans' lives lost due to systematic oppression. So within this piece, I actually use um, symbols from Mali, Nigeria, um, Ghana. So just things that was inspired by African cloths, just to explain this story. The Janet Jackson piece, um, I grew up off listening to her and I'm like, let me draw a Janet Jackson piece. And um, I found an old picture of her and decided to do it. I use um, chalk, I use uh, false eyelashes, I use uh, glitter and feathers. This is called MOA, this means mother of all. And as you can see, there's a baby, she's breastfeeding, and the baby has American flag, South African flag, Indian flag, Europe, China, Mexico. She's just the mother of all nations. It's based off of a uh, 18th century edict that took place in uh, Louisiana uh, under Spanish colonization. Um, and so the Tino uh, edict was forcing uh, free women of color to wear head wraps uh, while in public um, as a way to oppress them. And so uh, the free women of color, um, you know, use their means as their freedom and their uh, economic stability to be able to purchase um, a variety of different uh, silks and fabrics and accessories. And they uh, recreated these turbans into like fashionable statements. And so it was meant to be a tool for oppression, but they uh, use it as a way to empower them. Others focus on personal experiences and relationships. This is what we have here, Kissed by the Sun. That's by Reveal Peace. And I decided to come up with it because it revealed everything that art has been to me in my journey to like go on this journey and grow and then just find out who I am and what I like to do. And from this, I've learned that I like to do abstract art. So the majority of the art that you'll see here is abstract. It has a little stylized and colorful. It's all these things that make me who I am. It's called Dear Daughter, and it's a painting that I did of me and my daughter. My daughter uh, just went away to college about two years ago. So I wanted to do a painting to kind of commemorate like my relationship with her. My husband photographed us for this painting. Most of the paintings are done from um, either uh, photographs that I take myself or I'll get my husband to photograph me and um, use it in the painting. This is a portrait of one of my twins. He's six years old and he's a, because he's a twin, um, I've represented him here as a butterfly and have included his brother. So there are two butterflies here representing both of them. All of their artwork has deep meaning and they are honored to be recognized. It means a lot to be a black woman here, um, having my art be seen because it isn't as represented in a lot of the galleries and museums, so it's a rare opportunity, but one of the best I've been in. These artists value the opportunity to be celebrated and hope to reach others through their art. I want to be able to share um, just my journey with the world and to help people experience their purpose through art. It's a way to bring people together. Um, there are conversations that I'm having with my family that we've never talked about before. Um, just because, you know, the artwork has inspired them to ask questions that they never asked before. Art is just a way to express and, and narrate uh, various stories and share with others. For About Town, this is Susan Stevens.